A master's degree from Latin magister is an academic degree awarded by universities or colleges upon completion of a course of study demonstrating mastery or a high order overview of a specific field of study or area of professional practice. A master's degree normally requires previous study at the bachelor's level, either as a separate degree or as part of an integrated course. Within the area studied, master's graduates are expected to possess advanced knowledge of a specialized body of theoretical and applied topics, high-order skills in analysis, critical evaluation, or professional application, and the ability to solve complex problems and think rigorously and independently. Historical development Medieval era to 18th century The master's degree dates back to the origin of European universities, with a papal bull of 1233 decreeing that anyone admitted to the mastership in the University of Toulouse should be allowed to teach freely in any other university. The original meaning of the master's degree was thus that someone who had been admitted to the rank degree of master i.e. teacher in one university should be admitted to the same rank in other universities. This gradually became formalized as the licentia docendi license to teach. Originally, masters and doctors were not distinguished, but by the 15th century it had become customary in the English universities to refer to the teachers in the lower faculties arts and grammar as masters and those in the higher faculties as doctors. Initially, the Bachelor of Arts BA was awarded for the study of the Trivium and the Master of Arts MA for the study of the Quadrivium. From the late Middle Ages until the 19th century, the pattern of degrees was therefore to have a bachelor's and master's degree in the lower faculties and to have bachelor's and doctorates in the higher faculties. In the United States, the first master's degrees Magister Artium, or Master of Arts were awarded at Harvard University soon after its foundation. In Scotland, the pre-Reformation universities St Andrews, Glasgow and Aberdeen developed so that the Scottish MA became their first degree, while in Oxford, Cambridge and Trinity College, Dublin, the MA was awarded to BA graduates of a certain standing without further examination from the late 17th century, its main purpose being to confer full membership of the university. At Harvard the 1700 regulations required that candidates for the master's degree had to pass a public examination, but by 1835 this was awarded Oxbridge style three years after the BA. 19th century The 19th century saw a great expansion in the variety of master's degrees offered. At the start of the century, the only master's degree was the MA, and this was normally awarded without any further study or examination. The Master in Surgery degree was introduced by the University of Glasgow in 1815. By 1861, this had been adopted throughout Scotland as well as by Cambridge and Durham in England and the University of Dublin in Ireland. When the Philadelphia College of Surgeons was established in 1870, it too conferred the Master of Surgery, the same as that in Europe. In Scotland, Edinburgh maintained separate BA and MA degrees until the mid-19th century, although there were major doubts as to the quality of the Scottish degrees of this period. In 1832 Lord Brougham, the Lord Chancellor and an alumnus of the University of Edinburgh, told the House of Lords that in England the universities conferred degrees after a considerable period of residence, after much labour performed, and if they were not in all respects so rigorous as the statutes of the universities required, nevertheless it could not be said, that Masters of Arts were created at Oxford and Cambridge as they were in Scotland, without any residence, or without some kind of examination. In Scotland all the statutes of the universities which enforced conditions on the grant of degrees were a dead letter." It was not until 1837 that separate examinations were reintroduced for the MA in England, at the newly established Durham University even though, as in the ancient English universities, this was to confer full membership, to be followed in 1840 by the similarly new University of London, which was only empowered by its charter to grant degrees by examination. However, by the middle of the century the MA as an examined second degree was again under threat, with Durham moving to awarding it automatically to those who gained honours in the BA in 1857, along the lines of the Oxbridge MA, and Edinburgh following the other Scottish universities in awarding the MA as its first degree, in place of the BA, from 1858. 
At the same time, new universities were being established around the then British Empire along the lines of London, including examinations for the MA, the University of Sydney in Australia and the Queen's University of Ireland in 1850, and the Universities of Bombay now the University of Mumbai, Madras and Calcutta in India in 1857. In the U.S., the revival of master's degrees as an examined qualification began in 1856 at the University of North Carolina, followed by the University of Michigan in 1859, although the idea of a master's degree as an earned second degree was not well established until the 1870s, alongside the Ph.D. as the terminal degree. Sometimes it was possible to earn an M.A. either by examination or by seniority in the same institution, e.g. in Michigan the in course. M.A. was introduced in 1848 and was last awarded in 1882, while the «on examination» M.A. was introduced in 1859. Probably the most important master's degree introduced in the 19th century was the Master of Science M.S. in the U.S., M.S.C. in the U.K. At the University of Michigan this was introduced in two forms in 1858, «in course», first awarded in 1859, and «on examination» first awarded in 1862. The «in-course» MS was last awarded in 1876. In Britain, however, the degree took a while longer to arrive. When London introduced its Faculty of Sciences in 1858, the university was granted a new charter giving it the power «to confer the several degrees of Bachelor, Master, and Doctor, in Arts, Laws, Science, Medicine, Music». But the degrees it awarded in science were the Bachelor of Science and the Doctor of Science. The same two degrees, again omitting the Masters, were awarded at Edinburgh, despite the MA being the standard undergraduate degree for arts in Scotland. In 1862, a royal commission suggested that Durham should award master's degrees in theology and science with the suggested abbreviations MT and MS, contrary to later British practice of using MTH or MTHEOL and MSc for these degrees, but its recommendations were not enacted. In 1877, Oxford introduced the Master of Natural Science, along with the Bachelor of Natural Science, to stand alongside the MA and BA degrees and be awarded to students who took their degrees in the Honours School of Natural Sciences. In 1879 a statute to actually establish the Faculty of Natural Sciences at Oxford was promulgated, but in 1880 a proposal to rename the degree as a Master of Science was rejected along with a proposal to grant Masters of Natural Sciences a Master of Arts degree, in order to make them full members of the university. This scheme would appear to have then been quietly dropped, with Oxford going on to award BA and MAs in science. The Master of Science MSc degree was finally introduced in Britain in 1878 at Durham, followed by the new Victoria University in 1881. At the Victoria University both the MA and MSc followed the lead of Durham's MA in requiring a further examination for those with an ordinary bachelor's degree but not for those with honours. 20th century At the start of the 20th century there were therefore four different sorts of master's degree in the UK, the Scottish MA, granted as a first degree, the Master of Arts Oxbridge and Dublin, granted to all BA graduates a certain period after their first degree without further study, master's degrees that could be gained either by further study or by gaining an honours degree which, at the time in the UK involved further study beyond the ordinary degree, as it still does in Scotland and some Commonwealth countries, and master's degrees that could only be obtained by further study including all London master's degrees. In 1903, the London Daily News criticised the practice of Oxford and Cambridge, calling their MAs, "...the most stupendous of academic frauds," and "...bogus degrees." Ensuing correspondence pointed out that, "...a Scotch MA, at the most, is only the equivalent of an English BA," and called for common standards for degrees, while defenders of the ancient universities said that, the Cambridge MA does not pretend to be a reward of learning", and that, "...it is rather absurd to describe one of their degrees as a bogus one because other modern universities grant the same degree for different reasons." In 1900, Dartmouth College introduced the Master of Commercial Science MCS, first awarded in 1902. This was the first master's degree in business, the forerunner of the modern MBA. The idea quickly crossed the Atlantic, with Manchester establishing a Faculty of Commerce, awarding Bachelor and Master of Commerce degrees, in 1903. 
Over the first half of the century the automatic master's degrees for honours graduates vanished as honours degrees became the standard undergraduate qualification in the UK. In the 1960s, new Scottish universities with the exception of Dundee, which inherited the undergraduate MA from St Andrews reintroduced the BA as their undergraduate degree in arts, restoring the MA to its position as a postgraduate qualification. Oxford and Cambridge retained their MAs, but renamed many of their postgraduate bachelor's degrees in the higher faculties as master's degrees, e.g. the Cambridge LLB became the LLM in 1982, and the Oxford Blit, B. Phil except in philosophy and BSc became the M. Lit, M. Phil and MSc. In 1983, the Engineering Council issued a "...statement on enhanced and extended undergraduate engineering degree courses." proposing the establishment of a four-year first degree Master of Engineering. These were up and running by the mid-1980s and were followed in the early 1990s by the MPHYs for physicists and since then integrated master's degrees in other sciences such as MCHEM, M-Math, and MGEOL, and in some institutions general or specific MSCI master in science and MARTS master in arts degrees. This development was noted by the Deering Report into UK Higher Education in 1997, which called for the establishment of a national framework of qualifications and identified five different routes to master's degrees Four-year undergraduate degrees such as the Meng Conversion degrees, sometimes below the standard of undergraduate degrees in the same subject The Undergraduate Arts degree of the Ancient Universities of Scotland Specialist postgraduate programs, such as the MA and MSc The Oxbridge MA, awarded without additional work This led to the establishment of the Quality Assurance Agency, which was charged with drawing up the framework. 21st century In 2000 renewed pressure was put on Oxbridge MAs in the UK Parliament, with Labour MP Jackie Lawrence introducing an early day motion calling for them to be scrapped and telling the Times Higher Education it was a «discriminatory practice» and that it «devalues and undermines the efforts of students at other universities». The following month the Quality Assurance Agency announced the results of a survey of 150 major employers showing nearly two-thirds mistakenly thought the Cambridge Massachusetts was a postgraduate qualification and just over half made the same error regarding the Edinburgh MA, with QAA Chief Executive John Randall calling the Oxbridge MA, "...misleading and anachronistic." The QAA released the first, "...framework for higher education qualifications in England, Wales and Northern Ireland." In January 2001, this specified learning outcomes for M level masters degrees and advised that the title master should only be used for qualifications that met those learning outcomes in full. It addressed many of the Deering report's concerns, specifying that shorter courses at H level honors, e.g. conversion courses, should be styled graduate diploma or graduate certificate rather than as master's degrees, but confirmed that the extended undergraduate degrees were master's degrees, saying that some master's degrees in science and engineering are awarded after extended undergraduate programs that last, typically, a year longer than honors degree programs." It also addressed the Oxbridge MA issue, noting that, "...the MAs granted by the universities of Oxford and Cambridge are not academic qualifications." The first, "...framework for qualifications of higher education institutes in Scotland." also published in January 2001, used the same qualifications descriptors, adding in credit values that specified that a standalone master should be 180 credits and a «master's» following an integrated program from undergraduate to master's level study should be 600 credits with a minimum of 120 at M level. It was specified that the title «master» should only be used for qualifications that met the learning outcomes and credit definitions, although it was noted that, "...a small number of universities in Scotland have a long tradition of labelling certain first degrees as MA. Reports of agency reviews of such provision will relate to undergraduate benchmarks and will make it clear that the title reflects Scottish custom and practice, and that any positive judgment on standards should not be taken as implying that the outcomes of the programme were at postgraduate level." 
The Bologna Declaration in 1999 started the Bologna process, leading to the creation of the European Higher Education Area This established a three-cycle bachelor's—master's Doctorate classification of degrees, leading to the adoption of master's degrees across the continent, often replacing older long cycle qualifications such as the Magister Arts, Diplom Sciences and State Registration professional awards in Germany. As the process continued, descriptors were introduced for all three levels in 2004, and ECTS credit guidelines were developed. This led to questions as to the status of the integrated master's degrees and one year master's degrees in the UK. However, the framework for higher education qualifications in England, Wales and Northern Ireland and the framework for qualifications of higher education institutes in Scotland have both been aligned with the overarching framework for the EHEA with these being accepted as master's level qualifications. Titles <inaudible> 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 Master's degrees are commonly titled using the form Master of where either a faculty typically arts or science or a field engineering, physics, chemistry, business administration, etc. is specified. The two most common titles of master's degrees are the Master of Arts and Master of Science degrees, which normally consist of a mixture of research and taught material. Integrated master's degrees and postgraduate master's degrees oriented towards professional practice are often more specifically named for their field of study, tagged degrees, including, for example, the Master of Business Administration, Master of Divinity, Master of Engineering and Master of Physics. A few titles are more general, for example Master of Philosophy used in the same manner as Doctor of Philosophy to indicate degrees with a large research component, Master of Studies MST, Master of Advanced Study MAST, Master of Advanced Studies MAS, and Professional Masters M Professor. The form, Master in is also sometimes used, particularly where a faculty title is used for an integrated master's in addition to its use in a traditional postgraduate master's, e.g. Master in Science and Master in Arts This form is also sometimes used with other integrated master's degrees, and occasionally for postgraduate master's degrees e.g. Masters in Accounting. Some universities use Latin degree names, because of the flexibility of syntax in Latin, the Master of Arts and Master of Science degrees may be known in these institutions as Magister Artium and Magister Scientiae or reversed from the English order to Artium Magister and Scientiae Magister. Examples of the reversed usage include Harvard University, the University of Chicago and MIT, leading to the abbreviations AM and SM for these degrees. The forms, Master of Science, and Master in Science are indistinguishable in Latin, thus MSCI as Master of Natural Sciences at the University of Cambridge. In the UK, full stops periods are not used in degree abbreviations. In the US, the Gregg Reference Manual recommends placing periods in degrees, e.g., BS, PhD. However, the Chicago Manual of Style recommends writing degrees without periods, e.g., BS, PhD. Master of Science is generally abbreviated MS or MS in countries following United States usage and MSc in countries following British usage, where MS would refer to the degree of Master of Surgery. In Australia, some extended master's degrees use the title Doctor. Juris Doctor and Doctors of Medical Practice, Physiotherapy, Dentistry, Optometry and Veterinary Practice. Despite their titles these are still master's degree and may not be referred to as doctoral degrees, nor may graduates use the title, Doctor. Types <laughs> 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 Postgraduate, graduate master's degrees MA, MA, AM, MSc, MS, SM, MBA, MBA, MST, LLM, LLM, etc. are the traditional formal form of master's degree, where the student already holds an undergraduate bachelor's degree on entry. Courses normally last one year in the UK and two years in the US. Integrated master's degrees Machem, Meng, M Math, M Pharm, M Phys, M Psych, M Sci, etc. are UK degrees that combine an undergraduate bachelor's degree course with an extra year at master's level, i.e., a total of four years in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland, and five years in Scotland. 
A 2011 survey of UK higher education institutes found that 64% offered integrated master's course, mostly in STEM disciplines, with the most common degrees being MEng, MSCI and MCHEM. 82% of respondents conferred only a master's degree for the course, while 9% conferred a bachelor's degree at the end of the bachelor's level stage and a master's degree at the end of the course and a further 9% conferred both bachelor's and master's degrees at the end of the course. Non-master's level master's degrees The ancient universities of the UK and Ireland have traditionally awarded MAs in a different manner to that usual today. The Scottish MA is a bachelor's level qualification offered by the ancient universities of Scotland. The Oxbridge MA is not an academic qualification, it is granted without further examination to those who have gained a BA from Oxford or Cambridge Universities in England, and the MA of Trinity College Dublin in Ireland is granted to its graduates in a similar manner. The UK Quality Assurance Agency defines three categories of master's degrees. Research master's degrees are primarily research based, although may contain taught elements, particularly on research methods. Examples are the MPhil, always a research degree, often linked to a doctoral program, MLit, usually, but not always a research degree, and masters by research. They aim to prepare students for research careers. Care should be taken not to confuse the master by research, M buyers, RESM or MPhil, which is a research degree more aligned to the master of philosophy, MPhil, in a specific subject, with the master of research, MREs, which is a taught degree concentrating on research methods. Specialized or advanced study master's degrees are primarily taught degrees, although commonly at least a third of the course is devoted to a research project assessed by dissertation. These may be standalone master's courses, leading to, e.g., MSc, MA or MRE's degrees, or integrated master's degrees. Professional or practice master's degrees see also professional degree are designed to prepare students for a particular professional career and are primarily taught, although they may include work placements and independent study projects. Some may require professional experience for entry. Examples include MBA, MDIV, LLM and MSW as well as some integrated master's degrees. The name of the degree normally includes the subject name. The United States Department of Education classifies master's degree as research or professional. Research master's degrees in the US, e.g., MA, AM or MS require the completion of taught courses and examinations in a major and one or more minor subjects and normally a research thesis. Professional master's degrees may be structured like research masters, e.g., ME, M, ENG, or may concentrate on a specific discipline, e.g., MBA, and often substitute a project for the thesis. The Australian Qualifications Framework classifies master's degrees as research, coursework, or extended. Research master's degrees typically take one to two years, and two thirds of their content consists of research, research training, and independent study. Coursework master's degrees typically also last one to two years, and consist mainly of structured learning with some independent research and project work or practice-related learning. Extended master's degrees typically take three to four years and contain significant practice-related learning that must be developed in collaboration with relevant professional, statutory or regulatory bodies. In Ireland, master's degrees may be either taught or research. Taught master's degrees are normally one to two year courses, rated at 6.0 ECTS credits, while research master's degrees are normally two year courses, either rated at 120 ECTS credits or not credit rated. Topic. Structure There is a range of pathways to the degree with entry based on evidence of a capacity to undertake higher level studies in a proposed field. A dissertation may or may not be required depending on the program. In general, structure and duration of a program of study leading to a master's degree will differ by country and university. <laughs> duration Standalone master's programs in the U.S. are normally two years in length. In some fields, programs, work on a doctorate begins immediately after the bachelor's degree, but a master's may be granted along the way as an intermediate qualification if the student petitions for it. Some universities offer evening options so that students can work during the day and earn a master's degree in the evenings. In the UK, postgraduate master's degrees may be either research or taught, with taught degrees being further subdivided into 
specialist or advanced study or professional or practice see above taught degrees of both forms typically take a full calendar year ie 3 semesters 12 months although some may be completed within an academic year ie 2 semesters 8 months while research degrees often take either a full calendar year or two academic years the uk integrated masters degree is combined with a bachelor's degree for a four england wales and northern ireland or five scotland academic year total period one academic year longer than a normal bachelor's degree in australia masters degrees vary from one year for a research or coursework masters following on from an australian honors degree in a related field with an extra 6 months if following on straight from an ordinary bachelor's degree and another extra 6 months if following on from a degree in a different field to 4 years for an extended masters degree in the overarching framework of qualifications for the european higher education area defined as part of the bologna process a second cycle IE master's degree program is typically 90 to 120 ECTS credits with a minimum requirement of at least 60 ECTS credits at second cycle level. The definition of ECTS credits is that 60 ECTS credits are allocated to the learning outcomes and associated workload of a full-time academic year or its equivalent. Thus European master's degrees should last for between one calendar year and two academic years, with at least one academic year of study at master's level. The Framework for Higher Education Qualification in England Wales and Northern Ireland Level 7 Qualifications and the Framework for Qualification of Higher Education Institutes in Scotland Level 11 Qualifications postgraduate and integrated master's degrees, with the exception of MAs from the ancient universities of Scotland and Oxbridge MAs have been certified as meeting this requirement. Irish master's degrees are 1 to 2 years ECTS credit for taught degrees and two years not credit rated for research degrees. These have also been certified as compatible with the FQEHEA. Admission Admission to a master's degree normally requires successful completion of study at bachelor's degree level either for postgraduate degrees as a standalone degree or for integrated degrees as part of an integrated scheme of study. In countries where the bachelor's degree with honors is the standard undergraduate degree, this is often the normal entry qualification. In addition, students will normally have to write a personal statement and, in the arts and humanities, will often have to submit a portfolio of work. In the UK, students will normally need to have a 2 to 1 or 2 to 2 for students who can provide evidence of their ability to successfully pursue a postgraduate degree to be accepted into a taught master's course, and possibly higher for a research master's. Graduate schools in the U.S. may require students to take one or more standardized tests, such as the GRE, GMAT or LSAT. Comparable European degrees In some European countries, a magister is a first degree and may be considered equivalent to a modern standardized master's degree e.g., the German, Austrian and Polish university diplom, magister, or the similar five-year diploma awarded in several subjects in Greek, Spanish, Portuguese, and other universities and polytechnics. Under the Bologna process, countries in the European Higher Education Area are moving to a three-cycle bachelor's, master's, doctorate system of degrees. Two-thirds of EHEA countries have standardized on 120 ECTS credits for their second cycle master's degrees, but 90 ECTS credits is the main form in Cyprus, Ireland and Scotland and 60–75 credits in Montenegro, Serbia and Spain. The combined length of the first and second cycle varies from 3 plus 1 years 240 ECTS credits, through 3 plus 2 or 4 plus 1 years 300 ECTS credits, to 4 plus 2 years 360 ECTS credits. As of 2015, 31 EHEA countries have integrated programs that combine the first and second cycle and lead to a second cycle qualification e.g. the UK integrated master's degree, particularly in STEM subjects and subjects allied to medicine. 
These typically have a duration of 300-360 ECTS credits, 5 to 6 years, with the integrated master's degrees in England, Wales and Northern Ireland being the shortest at 240 ECTS credits, 4 years. In Denmark there are two forms of master's degree. The master's degree or candidatus is a FQEHEA second cycle qualification worth 120 ECTS credits. These degrees are research based and offered through universities e.g. University of Copenhagen and Copenhagen Business School. The second form is the master degree no possessive within the adult further education system, which is worth 60 ECTS credits and is taught part-time. The candidatus degree is abbreviated CAND, and upon completion of, for instance, an engineering master's degree, a person becomes CAND, poly, polytechnical. Similar abbreviations, inspired by Latin, apply to a large number of fields, e.g., sociology economics polit, or CAND, oeken, law humanities etc. Use of a CAND, title requires a master's degree. Holders of a CAND degree are also entitled to use MSc, or MA titles, depending on the field of study. In Finland and Sweden, the title of CAND, equates to a bachelor's degree. In France, the master's degree Diplôme de master takes two years and is worth 120 ECTS credits. The French master's degree is the combination of two individual years, the Master I M1 and Master II M2, following the Bologna process. Depending on the goal of the student a doctorate or a professional career the master 2 can also be called a master recherche research master and a master professional professional master each with different requirements to obtain a national diploma for the master 2 requires a minimum of 1 year of study after the master 1 a french diplôme d'ingénieur is also the equivalent of a master's degree, provided the diploma is recognized by the Commission des Titres d'Ingenieur, as are qualifications recognized at level 1 of the Répertoire national des certifications professionnels national register of professional certificates. In Italy the master's degree is equivalent to the two-year laurea magistral, which can be earned after a laurea a three-year undergraduate degree, equivalent to a bachelor's degree. In particular fields, namely law, pharmacy and medicine, this distinction is not made. University courses are therefore single and last five to six years, after which the master's degree is awarded in this case referred to as Laurea Magistral Cyclo Unico. The old Laurea degree Vecchio Ordinamento, old regulations, which was the only awarded in Italy before the Bologna process, is equivalent to the current Laurea Magistral. In the Netherlands the titles Ingenier Meester Mister, and Doctorandus DRS, may be rendered, if obtained in the Netherlands from a university, after the application of the Bologna process, as, MSc instead of IR, LLM instead of Mister, and MA or MSc instead of DRS. This is because a single program that led to these degree was in effect before 2002, which comprised the same course load as the bachelor and master programs put together. Those who had already started the program could, upon completing it, bear the appropriate title MSc, LLM or MA, but alternatively still use the old style title IR, Mr. or DRS, corresponding to their field of study. Since these graduates do not have a separate bachelor's degree which is in fact, in retrospect, incorporated into the program, the master's degree is their first academic degree. Bearers of foreign master's degree are able to use the titles IR, Mr. and DRS, only after obtaining a permission to bear such titles from the Dienst Uitvoering Onderwijsch. Those who received their Mr., IR, or DRS title after the application of the Bologna process have the option of signing as A. Janssen, MA or A. Janssen, MSc, depending on the field in which the degree was obtained, since the IR, Mr. and DRS, titles are similar to a master's degree, and the shortcut MA or MSc, may officially be used in order to render such title as an international title. In Switzerland, the old license or diplom four to five years in duration is considered equivalent to the master's degree. In Slovenia and Croatia, during the pre-Bologna process education, all academic degrees were awarded after a minimum of four years of university studies and a successful defense of a written thesis and are considered equivalent to the master's degree. After the completion of that first cycle of the pre-Bologna higher education, the students obtained professional degrees with the titles of professor abbreviation professor for educational studies, engineer abbreviation ing 
for technical studies, or licensed professional of their field of expertise abbreviation DIPL, with a reference to the profession for other studies. The title of Magister Scientiae abbreviation Mr. SC was awarded to students who completed a postgraduate university program and therefore qualified for a doctorate program, while the title of Scientiae Doctor abbreviation Dr. SC was awarded to students who completed a postgraduate doctoral program. Slovenia is a full member of the Bologna process since 1999 and Croatia since 2001. In Baltic countries there is a two-year education program that offers a chance to gain a master's degree in interdisciplinary issues. The system offers an education in different areas, such as humanities, environmental and social issues, whilst paying specific consideration to the Baltic Sea area. It is a joint degree program, which is part of a team effort with four universities. There is the University of Tartu in Estonia, the University of Turku in Finland, Vitatas Magnus University in Lithuania and the University of Latvia. The educational programs allow students to be mobile within the system, for example one semester may be taken in a confederate school without paying additional membership or tuition fees. Subsequently, after passing the qualifications provided, people may procure teaching qualifications and continue their scholastic research around doctoral studies, or carry on studying within their career in the private or public sector. Graduates of the program, within the Baltic Sea area are also given the chance to continue onwards with their studies within the postgraduate system if they have studied the social sciences or humanities field. In Greece, the metoptychiako which literally translates as post-degree, program or title, lasts normally from one to, more often, two years, and can be studied after a, at least, four years undergraduate taishio, which means degree, also, the five-year diploma diploma awarded in all polytechnics schools of engineering and the Athens School of Fine Arts is considered equal to a graduate degree plus a master's degree. In Russia master magister degree can be obtained after a two-year master course magistratura which is available after a four-year bachelor or a five-year specialist course. A graduate may choose a master course completely different from his, her previous one. During these two years master students attend specialized lectures in chosen profile, choose a faculty advisor and prepare their master thesis which is eventually defended before certifying commission consisting mostly of professors, leading by the professor from another university. In the United Kingdom, first degrees in medicine, dentistry and veterinary science are considered equivalent to master's degrees despite, for historical reasons, often having the titles of bachelor's degrees. The old Spanish degrees of licenciado licenciate, architecto architect, and ingeniero engineer are also equivalent to master's degrees. They were integrated programs of study that combined first and second cycles and led to a second cycle qualification. The Spanish government issued a royal decree in 2014 establishing the official equivalences between the Spanish pre-Bologna degrees and the European Qualifications Framework EQF levels. Most if not all, licenciado, architecto and ingeniero degrees were placed in level 7 master of the EQF. These programs have been phased out and replaced with the new Bologna programs of master, to be completed after completion of a program of grado bachelors. South America Brazil After acquiring a bachelor's or licenciate degree, students are qualified to continue their academic career through master's degree mestrado", in Portuguese, aka stricto sensu post-graduation or specialization degree in Portuguese, aka Lato Sensu Postgraduation programs. At the master's program there are two to three years of graduate level studies. Usually focused on academic research, the master's degree requires, on any specific knowledge area, the development of a thesis to be presented and defended before a board of professors after the period of research. Conversely, the specialization degree, also comprehends a one to two years studies, but does not require a new thesis to be proposed and defended, being usually attended by professionals looking for complementary training on a specific area of their knowledge. In addition, many Brazilian universities offer a MBA program. However, those are not the equivalent to a United States MBA degree, as it does not formally certifies the student with a master's degree but with a specialization degree instead. 
A regular post-graduation course has to comply with a minimum of 360 class hours, while a MBA degree has to comply with a minimum of 400 class hours. Master's degree stricto sensu does not requires minimum class hours, but it's practically impossible to finish it before 1.5 year due the workload and research required. An average time for the degree is 2.5 years. Specialization lato sensu and MBA degrees can be also offered as distance education courses, while the master's degree stricto sensu requires physical attendance. In Brazil, the degree often serves as additional qualification for those seeking to differentiate themselves in the job market, or for those who want to pursue a PhD. It corresponds to the European Bologna process second cycle or the North American Masters. Asia Hong Kong M. Arch, MLA, MUD, MA, MSC, MSOC, SC, MSW, MNG, LL, M. Hong Kong requires one or two years of full time coursework to achieve a master's degree. For part time study, two or three years of study are normally required to achieve a postgraduate degree. M. Phil as in the United Kingdom, M. Phil, or Master of Philosophy is a research degree awarded for the completion of a thesis, and is a shorter version of the Ph.D. Pakistan In Pakistani education system, there are two different master's degree programs Two years master's programs, these are mostly Master of Arts leading to M. Phil, Four years master's programs, these are mostly Master of Science MS leading to Ph.D. Both MA and MS are offered in all major subjects. India In the Indian system, a master's degree is a postgraduate degree following a bachelor's degree and preceding a doctorate, usually requiring two years to complete. The available degrees include but are not limited to the following. Master of Arts MA Master of Business Administration MBA Master of Computer Applications MCA Master of Engineering M Eng Master of Philosophy M Phil Master of Science M SC Master of Technology M Tech Master of Statistics M Stat Master of Laws LL M Master of Commerce M Com Master of Architecture M. Arch. Master of Veterinary Science MVSC. Israel MA, MSc, MBA, postgraduate studies in Israel require the completion of a bachelor's degree and is dependent upon this title's grades. There exists also a direct track to a doctorate degree for graduate students, which lasts four to five years. Taking this route, the students must prepare a preliminary research paper during their first year, they then have to pass an exam after which they are automatically awarded a master's degree. M. Eng. It is given by the Technion, Israel Institute of Technology. Comparing to the MSc, it is a non-thesis track. <laughs> Nepal In Nepal, after bachelor's degree about to at least three or four years with full-time study in college and university with an entrance test for those people who want to study further can study in master and further Ph.D. and doctorate degree. All doctoral and Ph.D. or third cycle degree are based on research and experience oriented and result based. Master of Engineering M. Eng, Master of Education M. Ed, Master of Arts M. A. and all law and medicine related courses are studied after completion of successful bachelor towards doctoral degree. MBBS is only a medical degree with six and a half years of study resulting medical doctor and need to finish its study of four years of period joining after master degree with minimum education with 15 or 16 years of university bachelor's degree education. The most professional and internationalized program in Nepal are as follows Master of Business Administration MBA Master of Computer Applications MCA Master of Engineering M Eng Master of Science MSc 
Master of Science in Information Technology MSc IT Master of Business Studies MBS Master of Education MEd Master of Arts MA Master of Science in Agriculture MSc AG Master of Laws LLM Master of Management MM Topic Taiwan In Taiwan, bachelor's degrees are about four years with honors and there is an entrance examination required for people who want to study in master and PhD degrees. The courses offered for master and PhD normally are research-based. The most foreign student-friendly programs in Taipei, Taiwan are at National Taiwan University College of Management – Global MBA MBA in Finance, Accounting, Management, International Business and Information Management National Chengchi University – IMBA programs are entirely in English and tuition is less than would be paid in North America, with as little as $5,000 for an MBA. As an incentive to increase the number of foreign students, the government of Taiwan and universities have made extra efforts to provide a range of quality scholarships available. These are university-specific scholarships ranging from tuition waivers, up to $20,000 per month. The government offers the Taiwan scholarship ranging from $20,000 minus $30,000 per month for two years. $18,000 minus $24,000 for a two-year program. See also Associate's degree Bachelor's degree British degree abbreviations Diploma mill Doctorate Educational specialist Engineer's degree Euromaster European Joint Master degree in Economics Graduate school Licentiate List of master's degrees Magister degree Master of Advanced Studies Master of Arts Oxbridge and Dublin Master of Arts Scotland Master of Engineering Master of Laws Master of Science Master's degree in Europe Master's degree in North America Master's degree non-Euro-American Professional Science Master's degree Terminal degree Topic Notes Topic References, <references>